Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're looking at this Irwin Vice. These are very handy to have in the garage, and so this particular one we have has a 4-inch opening, and it's model number 226304ZR, and in the video description I'll put a link where you can find these. But uh, we're going to go ahead and open this up, and there's really not much to it. It comes right out of the box all in one piece. No assembly, which is nice, but we will be mounting it today. Uh, so it, the first thing you'll notice is uh, it is pretty heavy. So it's a hefty, well-built uh, thing here. Uh, so uh, this is what it looks like on the inside with the little worm drive uh, gear. I'll give you a little look here underneath it, but... Uh, uh, it has a little base that it swivels on and you can lock into place so that it won't move. That's what these knobs on the side will do. And so I put it on the scale to see and it comes in just under 15 pounds. And so it has the nice anvil top uh, for it for striking some other things and a nice little cross hatching for the actual clamp. So again, these side ones will uh, lock down into place and keep it from going side to side. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it here on the toolbox on the corner. This is where I figured I'd like it. And as you can see, the toolbox already has holes in the top. A few more really won't hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and set it out here where I'd like it. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses, of course, if you're doing any kind of drilling. And so I did have to auger mine out just a little bit for the actual hardware that I had on hand. And so uh, I went ahead and lined it up where I wanted and started drilling. And then when the vise out of the way, I knew right where to drill. It didn't take too much to go through uh, that. And so just augured that out. Make sure there's nothing in the drawer uh, that uh, you're going to catch. And so in this case, I decided to bring the stud up through the toolbox and uh, into the actual uh, vise here. So we went ahead and just uh, put the nut on here, got a good feel for it, and uh, tightened it down. Next, I went into the back and repeated the same process, and you can do this on all four corners. Uh, but then I just brought the other uh, bolt or stud all the way back up through here, and uh, it fit perfectly. So I went ahead and put the nut on the top of it and drove it down. Now for the excess of the stud, I just uh, took it with a sawzall and cut it, and it made a nice flush one. Now on this one, I decided to go back and put a nut halfway down the stud, and that way it would only come up through... Um, as much as I needed it. So keep in mind if you're doing it this way, especially where my toolbox, I am storing things inside, I don't want it to catch on the bottom, but uh, this worked out pretty well. And so I was able just to uh, tighten it down and didn't even have to do any cutting. So just an idea for you. And as you can see, it can swivel back and forth and lock into place and it's on here nice and firm. So anyway, this is just uh, what I did real quick to mount this to the toolbox. It's nice that it can uh, turn out of the way and then lock into place. And uh, so I'm gonna really enjoy using this. So thanks for watching. Please check out my playlist in the video description for my other tool reviews and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks guys.